All right, guys, let's go. Another MH3 play box. And these are these are a lot of fun to open. We're a few videos in now. I did a few off camera. And I definitely think the hype is real. Price is settling down, but yet remaining strong. And let's pull some bangers, because I got to build new uh, Modern Horizons decks. I'm sorry, Modern decks. Mostly with Modern Horizons cards. Three, that is. But yep, let's go. Okay, so Springheart, he is part of a combo with uh, Nadu, where, yeah, you can basically just draw out your entire deck, and then what else? Thass is a Oracle. Last few openings have been uh, collector boxes, so these uh, definitely aren't going to be as exciting. But let's see. We uh, looks like we got a few rares in here. So first, Wooded Foothills, first fetch land of the box. Amazing artwork. Okay, an expressive iteration special guest card. Okay, I didn't expect to see this on the special guest list, but that artwork is fantastic. Usually, all the special guest cards have really, really good artwork. And the Vexing Bobble. No, no, no to zero mana, zero mana spells. Monumental Henge. Barbarian Ring. And that's where we end with that pack. Yeah, so market value on these is around 240 right now, which some people might get mad, but I think that's a pretty fair price for the most part. But I don't think we've seen a crazy uh, play box yet, you know, where we just get really, really good open value. Because I would imagine if you bought one of these boxes from your LGS. Oh, Guide of Souls, that's one we need. Nice. And a foil. Ooh, an Ocelot Pride right behind that. Oh, three rare pack, two rares, and oh, wow, look, oh, it just keeps coming. So we have the Guide of Souls. So three rares and a Mythic in there, all white. That's a theme pack right there. I mean, you uh, you get that in a sealed event. Guess what color you're playing. Probably going to play white. Command. Ethereum Shaper. I was going to say that's a commander card, but I was completely wrong. That is not. Not every multicolor uh, legendary creature is from a commander set, so. Ah, the Nether Goyf. Nice pull right here. Mythic on that. And it's Kratos. Come on, unless there's something else going on here I don't know about. It's Kratos. It's a pretty decent box so far. Flare duplication. Okay, this is the red one. Sacrifice a non-token red creature. Cast this for nothing. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. Choose new targets. Okay. The worn power stone. Monstrous Vortex, we talked about that one already. Um, that, I think that one's going to be really good in Commander. I mean, maybe even Modern. Let's see what they work in there. Okay, here we go. Another fetch land. Very nice. So the Windswept Heath. And is that all we get? Oh, we get the Sink and the Stupor, though. That, like, $5 on common right there. Return target spell or non-land permanent and opponent controls to, to their hand. And then if you're crazy enough to pay three life, that land will come into play not tapped. Witch Enchanter, I almost keep, almost keep calling this Witch Hunter, which I'm pretty sure is a card from uh, the Dark Crab Abomination. Six, like the wrestler, 
I guess just uh, no Ren here then. Okay, so it's just six. Interesting. I think I did see that uh, in the previews, but I completely forgot about it. Then the Emerald Medallion. Nice. Green spells cost one less to cast. Seems like the only medallion that's doing a lot in modern right now is uh, the Ruby Medallion. Ruby Storm is a brutal deck. Ooh, and there's a brutal creature right there. So we get Emrakrol. The World Anew. Very nice on that mythic right there. The power balance, you're probably, I mean, these two cards will probably never interact with each other unless there's a mirror match, but we get the power balance. The linebacker, line breaker, Eldrazi. Oh, Static Prison. Nice. Staple of that uh, Boros Energy deck I was talking about in the last video. You get a Phantom. I always think that's a Dragon Whelp when I see it. Very similar artwork. Okay, so this is a good one right here. Get the exile target permanent. Uh, you may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled and spend mana of any color to cast it. Get a nightmare pearl medallion. Okay. So no ruby medallions yet. This is supposed to be another good uncommon right here, especially for energy decks. But um, I actually don't see it on a lot of deck lists right now. And I feel like, is that a reprint? It could be. Uh, it just looks familiar. I feel like it's something I saw in the first uh, Modern Horizons set, but too many cards. Invert Polarity. One rare pack. I can't really complain, though. We're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, but we need like $300 in value to get like a really good box out of this. And to make a little bit of money. Flare of Malice. Not going to make money with these one rare packs. Unless you get like an Ember Crawl in one. There's gotta be something spicy in here. I got a feeling. Okay. And I was 100% right. So, Ulamog. So, we're getting all the good Eldrazi in here. I don't know what this one's worth. Last I checked, it was like 70 bucks. I'm sure it's come down a lot. But yeah, just cast it. Target opponent. Uh, exiles half their library. Rounded up. And Deep Analysis, uh, that was recently uh, reprinted in Dominaria Remastered, but I don't know if it was modern legal. Ooh, Foil st uh, Sink, in I almost said Stink in the into Stupor. Sink into Stupor, Foil. And there he is, the biggest loser in Magic right now. So just real quick, three mana, three, four flying. Uh, creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes target of a spell or ability reveal the top card of your library if it's a land just throw it onto the battlefield not even tapped just throw it onto the battlefield otherwise put it into your hand this ability only triggers twice twice why twice twice each turn so yeah if you have like uh any of those uh equipment artifacts that have a zero equip cost you got a few creatures out yeah this just gets out of hand people are already calling for a ban I've heard, apparently it's the, it's the worst in Commander. But again, there is a modern deck right now where you just deck out with that thing and you cast a Thoracle. Definitely not my favorite win condition. And is this a reprint from uh, Crimson Vow? I just, I feel like it is. I gotta look that up. Another God of Souls, or was that the last box? The, a lot of box openings this weekend. They're starting to uh, just mesh into one in my brain. Oh, can't lose the fish token. Yeah, that's from the, uh, is it Reef Worm? The one that just keeps getting bigger every time it dies. Spy Master's Vault. Storm Drake. 
That is pretty much it. Buried Alive. I, I mean, I, I keep asking this. Uh, is this a reprint? I really feel like it is. Search your library for up to three creature cards. Put them in your graveyard, then shuffle. That is a pretty good card, but I really feel like that's a reprint. You know what? They did put that... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so see... Uh, whatever, uh, whatever's a reprint in the set, they put the original set symbol in the background there. So, yep, that confirms that that is a reprint. So now, if I'm not sure, I can just look for that. King Among Bears. Portrait. Safekeeper. All right, even though we're doing pretty good here, I feel like we still need a couple big hits uh, to really get our money's worth out of here. And this should help because we pulled one the last night of this, and this was like a $25 card. So there is a Nightmare. It gives you some energy counters. And it seems like Borderless Foils in the set do have a pretty good value to them. And Bloodstained Mire. So third fetch land of the box. And we already talked about how we're so happy that that... Or I'm so happy. I don't know about anyone else. That annoyed Altasaur. 6-5 Reach Trample for, my god, 7 mana. Cascade is now in Modern. And here's something else that makes me happy. Seeing a Rowl. Very nice here. Rowl Borderless. So that will definitely help the value. Yeah, he's getting a lot of play right now. The Deserted Temple. Reprint we can see there. There's the, there's the original set symbol. I'll be honest, one I'm not familiar with. What set is that? Is it Exodus? I took a small hiatus from Magic from like 97 until like uh, 2020. So, missed a couple sets in between. Harboringer of the Seas. Yeah, your non-basic lands are now Islands, Islands. Another Sink in the Stupor. Cranial Ram. That would be worth so much if that didn't get the Ban Hammer in a uh, Pauper. Too powerful for the format. All right, and we just got an Elder Demon. Yeah, that is Reform. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that that is a reprint. See the set symbol there. Urza's Cave. All right, last few packs here. Let's rip these open and get you out of here. Flooded Strand, fourth fetch land of the box. I'm glad to see we can go to get a good amount of fetch lands out of these boxes. Even though these are no longer like $20, $30, $40 cards, you still need them. Still good pulls. They're always going to sell, even at less value. I mean, they'll sell more at less value, of course. But yeah, those were cards that definitely needed reprints. All right, camera's heating up, so let's hurry up. Null Drifting, Meltdown. Necro Dominance, very nice right there. So uh, it's Necro Potence, but your max hand size is five. Hitting a few decks already, another Vexing Bobble. Don't ask me about the sorting here. Shepherd. All right, what do you got? Three packs left. I know we're going a little quick here, but we have to. Polluted Delta, fifth fetch land of the box in the retro frame. And other than the Witch Enchanter, that is all we're going to get in that pack. Five fetch lands, most out of any box so far. More King Among Bears. Emperor of Bones, Toxic Deluge. Cleared up the Lord of the Rings confusion on that one in the last video. All right, last pack, then we'll get you out of here. We'll get a price on the screen. What are we ending with? Strict Serenade, and okay, eh, Junk Diver, good card. All right, guys, that is it. Um, yeah, we got more more boxes of this coming up. This is probably all we're going to be opening for a little bit. Maybe another uh, different box opening uh, in between there. Uh, maybe a mystery booster or something like that. But yeah, pretty good here. But we'll see what the price says. Um, yeah, and we'll be back.